50-acre corn maze, over 400 petting zoo critters, pumpkins, ball, and Halloween decorations, Live Oak Canyon. Dennis Dillon RV, DDRV.com's model year-end closeout is on. Get RV show pricing on travel trailers starting at $14.9 or $196 a month. Class E motorhomes from $69.9 or $599 a month. DDRV.com with a 405 meets the 22 Westminster. Hey, Dad. You won. Great job, sweetie. I'm so proud of you. It's ice cream for dinner. I'll think about it. Go get cleaned up. Stater Brothers Markets, celebrating life's sweet moments. Del Taco's 20 Under 2 menu has something affordable for everyone. With 20 meaty, cheesy, spicy, crunchy, and sweet items for under $2 each. Say hello to the last great value menu and say hello to Del Taco Better Max. Watch Off the Clock, today at 2 on KTLA 5. I'm Omar Lewis, and happening today, an immediate evacuation order is in place for more than a million civilians in Gaza as Israel prepares for a ground invasion to attack Hamas. This morning, we'll have the latest details on day seven of the Israel-Hamas war. Hi, good morning. I'm Jacqueline Tarkisian. Uh, local law enforcement stepping up security after an alleged terrorist threat makes its way on social media. More on what they're doing to ensure all of our safety coming up. Good morning. I'm Frank Buckley. House Republicans are meeting behind closed doors this morning to figure out a path forward after their nominee for Speaker of the House dropped out of the race. The latest in a live report from Washington just ahead. Good morning, I'm Jessica Holmes. A warning for people hoping to see the rare solar eclipse known as the Ring of Fire tomorrow morning. Good morning, I'm Jasmine Simpkins here at Knox Scary Farm where we're taking it back to the goring 20s inside of room 13. It's going to get real scary after this. Good morning, I'm Sam Rubin. We're here in Newport Beach. The MS bike ride is tomorrow. Uh, an inducement for fundraising this beautiful Van Powers bike. And that's not all. A big story about what the Grammys plan to celebrate hip hop's 50th anniversary. And uh, this is always mine and Frank's favorite part the latest and greatest in bike gear. We'll preview it coming up. Okay, just a light breeze up at the uh, Sky Park uh, camera which is located in Lake Arrowhead at Santa's Village. Uh, slight breeze with those bushes in the front, but a beautiful view and mainly clear skies. That's the big uh, story. Coastal 72, downtown Los Angeles 78. 84 in the San Fernando Valley, 80. Orange County Inland, Inland Empire 83 in the high desert 78. Most areas will be warming up over the weekend. Coastal areas just a little bit. Frank, back to you. Israel is warning more than a million people in the northern part of Gaza to evacuate Within 24 hours ahead of a possible ground invasion, the United Nations says that's impossible and the humanitarian crisis in Gaza will get even worse. KTLA's Omar Lewis in the newsroom with the story for us. Omar, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Frank. Israel's military warning all civilians in Gaza City to evacuate southwards within 24 hours. That's 1.1 million people who are now being told to leave Gaza. Meanwhile, Hamas has called on Palestinians to stay in their homes, urging them to ignore those evacuation orders. Moments ago, we spoke to a major from the Israel Defense Force. Take a listen to what she had to say. We are telling them that they could be in an area where there will be targets against Hamas sites. I, I cannot understand why Hamas would purposefully allow their civilians to be in a danger zone other than to say that they don't care about their well-being at all. And I, I just think it, it's another example of how little they care about their own people in the Gaza Strip. 
Taking a look here at that evacuation zone, the evacuation order from the Israeli military urging citizens north to move south, which includes Gaza City, home to hundreds of thousands of Palestinians. On Thursday, Secretary of State Antony Blinken arrived in the region. This is video from today as he left Jordan on the way to Qatar. Blinken is continuing diplomacy efforts to avert an expanded regional conflict. In a news conference with Qatar's Foreign Affairs Minister, Blinken explained that 27 Americans were killed in the attacks and he has met with family members of the hostages. Blinken is now working with our allies in Qatar to discuss ways to de-escalate tensions between Israel and Hamas while protecting civilians. We continue to discuss with Israel the importance of taking every possible precaution to avoid harming civilians. We recognize that Many Palestinian families in Gaza are suffering through no fault of their own, and the Palestinian civilians have lost their lives. We mourn the loss of every innocent life, Israeli, Palestinian, Jew, Christian, Muslim, as well as civilians of every faith and every nationality who have been killed. Also happening today, U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin arriving in Israel. He spent nearly two hours with Israel's Minister of Defense.